especially with as much as they want to get off to a good start. Bad snap. It bounces to Headley. Does a good job to scoop and get rid of it. And landed inside the 10. What a job by the punter. Downed at the five yard line by James Williams. May with time. Wide open down the sideline is J.J. Jones. And Jones will make a house call. 74 yard touchdown. Disaster on defense for the Canes. Number 20 for May. Oh boy, it did not take long for Drake May to get going. And again, you'll see Stevenson here. He's in zone coverage. The safety never came over the top. It's a blown coverage, and it's a touchdown for Drake May. Says he has to trust his receivers more. It's something he pointed out when we spoke with him the other day. Going to take off here and get belted in the backfield. Tony Grimes is in there first. May 6-6, six six, four touchdowns on fourth down this year. Just incredible numbers. And May takes off and gets the first down. He's still going inside the 30. And he didn't get down. He got clubbed out of bounds inside the 15. Statement by Tennessee today. Man. What a job Josh Heifel has done. Downfield Van Dyke in the pass on target to Jalen Knighton out of the backfield. He's down inside the 25. A great matchup right here. Going to get on the wheel route with Knighton. Get it matched up on the linebacker. Cedric Gray. There's that touch pass. Beautifully placed over the shoulder. Totally agree. As wide open a division as there is in college football. May surveying the defense and not sure if that was the intention as Green makes the catcher. So first down to the 23. Again, this drive started at the one. Play fake May in trouble and dumps it off to Hood. Hood past the 30, stays in bounds past the 40 yard line and then finally knocked out of play at the 46 by Kinchins for the big game. May off play action, taking a shot downfield, and it's a strike inside the 10, inside the 5, Antoine Green, all the way down to the two-yard line. Down I, and goal line. I can dream, Dave, I can dream. Hampton drilled at the one-yard line. Second effort, though, and they're going to mark him short. Well, I don't know. the half-yard line, I, I thought he got in as well. Always a good choice in situations like this. On third down and six, Van Dyke with time. Deep throw to the tight end, and Mallory able to hang on. Great catch downfield despite popping out, 32-yard gain. And you mentioned it, the true freshman, Will Hardy, and that's just a matchup disadvantage, the size. Another pass play, Van Dyke wide open, making the catch is the true freshman, Skinner, inside the 25, and out of bounds. It's a name to keep an eye on, 6'5", 210. Now, he's lean. He's got a big frame, huge catch radius. He's got a chance to be a really, really good football player. Just seems to put some rocks in his pocket. Van Dyke over the middle. It's caught inside the five, and it's a touchdown for Keyshawn Smith. Miami's finally on the board. Sean Smith, the best of these wide receivers for Miami. No middle of the field safety. Again, through picks on his first two passes of their last game two weeks ago. May down the seam again, a strike. Inside the 40 to Nesbitt, down to the 30. Navigates the middle of that field so well. Seen this so many times throughout the season. And once again, three minutes to go. May in trouble, sees it. Swarmed at the 37 yard line. Mitchell Agude was there first. And again, an incompletion in that situation is about as good as you could ask for. Seen him throw it away a couple times. Here he is again, stepping away from pressure. Oh my goodness, that was Mahomes esque. Just throwing it up for grabs to Downs, who takes it into the end zone for a touchdown. Drake May is a player to watch in college football, ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Had a defender at his foot. And it was falling backwards. Van Dyke. Mallory with the first down grab inside the 20. Mallory stays in bounds. Pushed out inside the five. And it's all about conference play from here on out. 
34 seconds left, and a half man Dyke steps up, in trouble, flips it into the end zone for a touchdown. Van Dyke with a great play, finding Parrish for six. So far, it's played out that what they said was accurate as May over the middle, and it's picked off at midfield by Smith. Miami ball with 21 seconds left and a timeout. Rare mistake by May, just a second interception of the season. Although May made a mistake at the end yep. of that first half that led to three points for Miami. Carolina will get the ball to start the second half. Hampton on the return for the heels. Able to slip a tackle at the 12. And Hampton's got some room down the far sideline. Knocked out of bounds by the kicker. Was a mistake made by an official. There was a holding call that they didn't catch. In trouble is May. And down he goes. Sacked back at the 31-yard line by Harvey. May to the air. Pressure again. And May throws a deep ball into traffic. It's picked off again inside the 30-yard line by Kinchins. So that's two interceptions in the last three throws. For May, he had one interception all season coming into this game. One for two. The time they didn't get it was on fourth and goal from the one. Van Dyke in trouble, hit and sacked, and a turnover on downs. DeAndre Boykins from the secondary with the hit. Down in front of the coverage. Back to the rushing attack. Big hole inside the 20 hood, inside the 15. It's a 15 yard run for Caleb Hood. First down for Miami on the 20. Play action, Van Dyke setting up and checks it down wide open as Knight and out of the backfield easily gets the first down and then fearlessly goes right at Power Eccles. Oh, big hit in the backfield by Desmond Evans. He dumps Parrish for a loss of about four. So Headley will punt. Josh Downs is deep. Only the second punt for Headley today. And Downs lets it go, and it checks up. And then it takes a Miami bounce down to the three-yard line. Big-time receiver for this Carolina offense. May steps up right in the arm of Keontae Smith. He's played a whale of a game for Miami today. Loss of four. May, pump fake. Steps up, and down he goes again at the 15-yard line. Gets Smith back there. He steps up. And to the sideline it goes, and it's a first down for Morales. All right, Matt, good stuff there. Meanwhile here, fourth down, Miami going for it. Down seven, Van Dyke on the run, and it's caught on the sideline. Bring the tight end in motion. Knighton gets the call, and he fumbles the ball. He got the first down, and then he coughed it up, and it's recovered by Geo Biggers of North Carolina. Wow, big mistake here by Knighton. Bring the tight end in motion. Knighton gets the call, and he fumbles the ball. He got the first down, and then he coughed it up, and it's recovered by Geo Biggers of North Carolina. Wow, big mistake here by Knighton. We've seen Gene Chizik throughout the course of the day be very aggressive to try to get pressure in Van Dyke's face. Van Dyke's been so good on third down, just one incompletion, surveying the defense. Puts it in there for a first down inside the 35-yard line to Smith, who was injured earlier, but is back on the field. Got to do it quickly, though. And Van Dyke here, shot number one on the fade. Risk of throwing if an incompletion there. Miami gets an extra 40 seconds out of it, basically. Yep. And here it is on the run. May. So he's dropped at the 44. So he lost two yards. And so now it's fourth and seven. Corey Flagg plays this so well. Watch him shed the block. Gets off the block. Stays square, stays outside. An excellent open field tackle. Oh, 
good job by Skinner. Now they're going to snap it on third down with 13 seconds left. Van Dyke. Oh. And it's picked off. Intercepted by Boykins. And North Carolina is going to win. He looked rushed after Skinner didn't get out of bounds. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.